Hello Gemini, Gemini, let's have a look to see the energies that are currently around you at this moment in time and what you need to know right now. Let's see what you're currently are not seeing at the moment and what the divine is wanting to bring to the forefront of your mind. The divine is saying that for some of you, you're currently in that moment of having to make a decision. For some of you, there is something that you're rushing into. The divine is saying stop. For those of you who are looking for a simple answer, the answer is no. For those of you who are looking for a sign, this is the sign with the answer that the divine is wanting to give to you. To just ask you to put the brakes on before you rush into something. So the divine is saying to you, it's a no. And for some of you, stop. Because if you are going at 100 miles an hour, you're going to be ending up in a situation where you're going to be kicking yourself because you just rushed into some more thing. As you're making decisions, the divine is saying to you that it is going to be important for you to trust your instincts. It is going to be important for you to go within. It is going to be important for you to understand that sometimes you just need to take your time to ask your guides, to ask yourself, to ask your subconscious mind, to ask your gut feeling what you should do next. So the divine is saying to you, there's just something that is going to be coming up in the next couple of days or even the next couple of weeks. For some of you, you're already deep into this energy. So be really mindful about what it is that you're doing. Be really mindful about the decisions that you're making. Because the divine is saying to you that you could be seeing yourself being pushed into making a decision. You could be seeing yourself feeling that maybe you are missing out on a great offer. You're missing out on something. The divine is saying to you, hold up. Let's just store things down. Slow your roll. Take your time. If it's meant for you, you don't have to chase. If it's meant for you, you don't have to rush into anything. I hope that message is loud and clear because the divine is wanting to bring protection around something that you might just be rushing into or feeling that you are being rushed to sign something, to make a decision. If you're feeling rushed or if you've got FOMO, just slow down. Okay. The message is loud and clear there for you. So the next card that we have, the divine is saying to you, look, there are some blessings in disguise that are wanting to come towards you. You are not even seeing these blessings. You are not even aware of these blessings. Okay. Because sometimes you are blindfolded into, into rushing into something, even though your instincts are saying no. The divine is saying, wait it out, because for you, there is just something that is here where the divine is saying you're going to be pleasantly surprised. You're probably not even considering this thing as a blessing. There's an opportunity that is waiting for you to take notice. The divine is saying that for some of you, there are doors that are opening. There are golden opportunities that are going to be coming towards you. And if you've already rushed in and said yes to something now you're not able to open up your hands and receive this blessing that is going to be paying off way more than what you're currently receiving or rushing into. Okay, my cat wants me to open the door. One moment. Ellie? Okay, door opened. Let's get back to the reading. So what we're going to do now, we're going to be looking at our tarot cards to see how they are wanting to elaborate more on the information that we have on the table. For those of you who are wanting to learn tarot, the self-paced tarot course is available on my website, which is linked in the description box below. Okay. Wow. Wow. You've got one major arcana card that is here. Now, remember what I just said to you before we got our tarot cards, before I went and opened up the, the door for Elvis. I said to you that if you rush into something, your blessings could be arriving and you've already said yes to something and you have to say no to a blessing that is here. The divine is saying to you again in a different way, 
so that the penny really drops. There are some major blessings that are coming in. There is something that you have been praying for that is coming into your life. Some of you, a friend could be giving you an opportunity. A friend has a connection and could be hooking you up to something. There is something that you have been visualizing, that you have been praying, that you've got your heart set on. And the divine is saying, it is coming. Stop rushing. Okay. For some of you, you literally are in that energy of planting a seed today. And tomorrow you're going to dig up the seed to look if it's growing. You leave it there. And when it's ready to it shoot up. For some of you wanting to eat the same day that you plant the seed, the divine is saying, slow your roll because the blessings in disguise that are here are connected to something that you really want to happen. This could be connected to maybe love. This could be connected to maybe something that you've been praying for. The energies of the page of cups is something that you're daydreaming about. If pigs could fly. What is the possibility? What are the magic moments that could happen? The divine is saying that, well, I am going to be coming in and surprising you with a blessing in disguise that you can't currently see at the moment, but you are absolutely going to love. This could be maybe a situation connected to, to love. Is there someone that you are really attracted to, but you're not really sure? Or maybe someone is not really the type of person that you usually date. But for whatever reason, you say, you know what, let's go on a date. I just feel intuitively that we should go out and see what happens. And when you spend some time together, you could be seeing that the chemistry is just right. You could be seeing that your heartstrings are just being pulled in the right direction. For some of you, there's just something that is being worked out in the background that is going to be perfect for you. Because remember, you have the star card and the star card is connected to your wishes. Your wishes being granted, your wishes coming true. So the divine is saying to you again, there are some blessings that are here that are coming towards you where you are going to be celebrating. The energies of the three of cups is your friends, your family, your guides, your ancestors, raising a glass and saying cheers for a job well done. Raising a glass because you're celebrating something that has come in. There's a blessing that is here where you are going to have reasons to be sharing your good news with other people. So the divine is saying to you, your wishes are going to be coming true. Okay, you will be celebrating but your wishes are coming true in a way that is unexpected. I feel that maybe for some of you, you sent out a CV maybe to a company. You know, you just took a chance and you're like, what do I have to lose? I'm just going to send my CV out. I'm just going to shoot my shot and see what happens. And you did it. And maybe you didn't hear nothing back from this company. Maybe it's been months. Maybe it's been a year. And you've already written off this thing as, you know what? It's not going to happen. And suddenly you get a message, you get a telephone call and they're asking you, hey, can we go for a coffee? Can we talk about that project? Can we collaborate? It's just something that is here. And now you're here sharing this good news with your friends and family. So the divine is saying that for some of you, you are currently daydreaming about something. If your instincts are telling you, go and take a chance, go and take a chance. But remember, it has to be instigated by your instincts. This is you just not rushing into something and your gut is saying, no, hold up. This doesn't make any sense and you're rushing into it anyway. No, the divine is saying to you, instinctively, you just feel like you need to take an action. That action you might be taking is going to be heart led, is going to be led by your, by your gut. Follow your gut instincts. Trust your gut instincts is going to be leading you to your blessings, which is going to be leading you to reasons why you are going to be celebrating, connected to your wishes coming true. So the message is loud and clear. Don't rush into anything. Okay. Take your time. Don't let anyone pressure you into anything. Rely on your instincts. And if your instincts are asking you to take action, Connected to what you're currently praying for, take that action because there's a blessing in disguise that is waiting for you. You could be like, you know, for instance, 
you could just be saying that I really want to collaborate with so-and-so. I love their work. I love whatever it is. Or I want to work with this company. But I feel that I'm underqualified. And the divine is saying, if your instincts are saying, do it, do it. What do you have to lose? Or maybe for some of you, you want to date some someone. But you're not sure if they're going to like you. If instinctively... You feel that you should just take that chance. Take the chance. And the blessing could be unfolding. So it almost feels like this to me, that the divine is saying to, to you, okay, your wishes have been had. They've been answered. Now it's over to you to go and open up the doors of opportunity for your guides, your ancestors to bring in the blessing in disguise. Go and do your part. So that the blessing can come towards you and make sense. You need to understand that when we're working with the energies of the star card, this is an energy where you're collaborating with the higher realms. You're collaborating with your guides and your ancestors. So they make the magical moments happen. And you make sure that the blessing can come in. So let's say, for instance, you haven't been on a date for months, years, and you're just like, you know, divine, please send me my soulmate. Please send me that special one. But you don't go out anywhere. You work from home. You don't even go to a coffee shop to work from a coffee shop to change things up. That person is just not going to fall on your lap that you're praying for. But maybe one day you are working from home. You know, you're busy typing away. And you just have this intuitive hint. Why don't you take your laptop? and go and work at a cafe why don't you take a break and go for a walk around the block why don't you fill in the blanks and that intuitive hint you act on it and when you go to that coffee shop or that walk you could be bumping into someone and the rest will be history so can you see your guides and your ancestors will align a situation to happen intuitively you pick up the message on the action that you should be taking to allow this magic to enter into your life. And then the blessings in disguise come in. Then then you now have reasons to celebrate. So this is the message that I have for you. There certainly is something that is coming up. Listen to your gut instincts. Don't rush into anything. You may be asking someone, say, you know what? I'm going to take a chance. Are you going to ask someone out? And they're like, you know what? Mm, no, this is not the right time for me. Don't get disheartened because the divine is saying by you taking that action, by showing that you are ready to be part of the co-creative team. Now your guides and your ancestors are like, good. You are not a scaredy cat anymore. You are now ready to take action. Now they go and line up someone that is perfect for you. And the next time that you get that intuitive hint, you take the action that you need to take and the blessings come in. So sometimes you, you have to put some skin in the game. So your guides and your ancestors are not out here running around trying to make magic happen, creating opportunities for you. And then you're there being pussified, not wanting to take the action that you need to take because you're afraid of rejection. Don't be afraid of rejection. People can reject you. Situation can reject you. The job can reject you. The more rejections you have, the closer you get to a yes. Get comfortable with people saying no, okay? So this is the powerful message that the divine really wants you to receive because, again, there's something good that is coming towards you. So this is the message that I have for you. If you found value in this reading, please do give this video a big thumbs up. And now for those of you who are doing the quantum leap ritual, let's go over and do some quantum leaping into the new reality that we are praying for. Hello, magician. This is the section of the reading where we are remembering that we are the magicians and the architects of our lives. This is the very same manifestation ritual that I used in 2023 and it only took me a couple of weeks to become a multimillionaire. I wanted to share this ritual with you because I want that by 2025, we have thousands of people who have manifested their dreams. Now, we are going to be 
taking this opportunity to work together as a community, wishing each other well. On every reading, please do remember to bring a full glass of water and your petition. You could write what you want to leave behind and on the other side, have an empty glass with a petition of what you want to become a reality. We have our cards on the table and I use these cards just as a visualization to help me manifest. So I had this star card and the star card is all about your wishes coming true. And the next card that I had was the eight of wands, encouraging my wishes to come true quickly, swiftly, fast. And then I had the magician card, which was a reminder to me that I am the magician, I am the alchemist, and I am the architect of my life. So these are cards that I just chose to work with, but you don't have to do that. You can just keep it simple and to the point. So are you ready to take part in this ritual? So bring your two glasses, one empty and one full of water. The one with water, just remember to write what it is that you want to leave behind. Because you are going to be quantum leaping into what it is that you want. So on the empty glass of water, write what it is that you are seeing yourself enjoying. If you're wishing to win the lottery, just say with gratitude divine, I am so thankful that I have won the lottery. Infuse this type of energy, the energies of the nine of cups. Feel yourself like it's already done. Bring this vibe, this energy when you are writing your petition like it is already a reality. Think of yourself how you're going to feel when you've won the lottery. So let's take a moment to just say a prayer to the divine with words of gratitude. Divine, thank you so much for everything that I already have in my life. Thank you for all the blessings that I have. Divine, I am the luckiest person alive. Going forward, I have some wishes that I want to make. I see myself living the life of my dreams. I see myself quantum leaping to a new timeline divine where I have won the lottery, where I am a multimillionaire, where I am living the life of my dreams, where I am healthy, where I am loved, where manifestations just happen so easily and quickly for me. And of course, for the good of all involved, and hum to none. Ashe. Can you feel that vibration? Can you feel the smile on my face as I'm seeing myself living the life of my dreams as the energies of the Nine of Cups? And this is what you want to infuse in your water so that you can quantum leap into the new timeline. So what we're going to do next, we are going to now bring into physical reality the action of quantum leaping. Let's get ready to quantum leap into the new timeline. In, breathe in and feel yourself feeling like this. And take your water and see yourself jumping over into the new timeline. And as you are pouring the water into the next cup, into that empty vessel, see yourself feel the new reality becoming a manifestation into the tangible reality. Just feel and infuse this new quantum leap, infuse this new timeline with so much joy, with so much gratitude, with so much love. Thank you, divine. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now take that cup of water and drink it because now this is the new reality. This is the new timeline and the action of drinking the water is that water is going to become you, is going to become a part of you and water holds memory 
So we are drinking this water, holding the memory of the feeling of the energies of the Nine of Cups. We've really infused the joy. We've really infused this water with the gratitude. We have infused the love, the excitement and everything that we want as if it's already happened. So take a glass. Cheers. Enjoy the new timeline that is now becoming a part of you. <laughs> and so it is for the good of all and harm to none. Enjoy your new reality and remember to go in the comment section below and comment on eight people's manifestation because remember by giving you open up your hands to receiving. Ashe.